Welcome to DIY Solar and Wind. I come down to check on the battery bank. There's the two huge batteries that's not been used yet. And the two tubs housing the other batteries. And they're ventilated outside through the hose. But I didn't clean the basement and then I found that the, the drain is not working. So, I will figure something out as to when I get more of the huge batteries to keep them up and away from any such possible flooding in the basement. Yeah, I got some cleaning up to do. So when you're doing your battery bank, wherever you're at, make sure you don't have another possible problem. So I'm thinking I'm going to put them up on 6 by 6s under all of the tubs. This one's got to drop down. But that's the most important battery bank. That's 360 amp hours. And the nine deep cycle batteries I have in these two containers. There's one down below right there outside. But the nine batteries are like 208 amp hours. So when you set up your own off-grid system think it out <laughs> I didn't know until you know one step at a time I'm learning right now we got a full sunny day I'm running the refrigerator and the let's see if I can get that I'm at 13.1 volts on this battery bank I'm running the refrigerator and a humidifier at the moment so, it's all free electricity all day long today. It's pretty awesome. Until we get down here and find out there's a little water. It'll recede. I'll probably go get the, the crystals down there. To, it's probably roots, roots up in there. And it was frozen and it thaws. And I haven't had this happen in about five years. All right, I'll get this cleaned up. I'll get it fixed. Have a bright sunny day.